So you have downloaded a file. It's probably a Java file if you found this video and it ends with .jar. As we can see, this file does end in .jar. Now yours may look like this and it might have this Java logo. It may also have a WinRAR logo. It might look like just a paper, like a piece of paper. It might look like literally anything else. It doesn't matter. But what does matter is if you double click on it, it doesn't open. Maybe it opens up with, how would you want to open this file? Maybe it uh, just opens up in something random. Maybe it opens up in WinRAR. It doesn't open up in this case, Optifine. This is a Minecraft mod, it's Optifine. And it doesn't open. So how do we fix that? Well, first and foremost, we need to download Java and specifically Java 17. We have this in the description down below. There's two apps you're gonna to use today, Java 17 and the jar fix. Java 17 is in the description down below and you need this in order to run the jar fix this goes over everything. It's always kept up to date. And once you're here, click on the download button. That takes you to Java 17's download page. We're going to select Windows, and then we want to select the x64 installer. That will then begin downloading in the bottom left, meaning to keep or save it depending on your browser. Let's go ahead and minimize our browser, and we can find this in our downloads folder. To find that, click the little notes icon, top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen, the bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. And yes, this is fully working on Windows 11. Top in downloads. We have a File Explorer app here. Open that up, and then on the left-hand side, scroll down to this PC. Then you want to go into your downloads folder, and there it is, JDK 17, that is Java. Now all we need to do is drag that to our desktop and double-click on it. What we're doing right now is installing Java. You need Java to open .jar files. So we're going to go ahead, go through, get all that going, and it's actually done. Boom. That simple, that easy. Click close, and you can delete the JDK from your desktop. Now, for a lot of you, that's going to fix your issue. You'll now be able to double click on this and it will open. Boom, there you go. You might need to right click and open it with Java, right like so, but that's going to fix it. But for some of you, it won't. It'll still be connected to WinRAR, connected to your browser. It just won't be a Java file. It won't look like this file here. And in that case, what you want to do is run the jar fix. And that is what the main point of this video is. The jar fix allows you to come here, click this download button. It downloads right away because we have the ability to do that with the breakdown, which is awesome. And once you've done that, we can just come back. We again want to navigate back to that downloads folder by going here, this PC downloads. This time we have the jar fix, drive this to your desktop. And guess what? To run the jar fix, all you've got to do is double click on it. When you do that, after a few seconds, it'll come up and say the .jar suffix has now been registered successfully. Jar packaged applications can be executed again with a double click. So that means we can now double click and open up Optifine and click install. Boom. That simple, that easy to get your jar files fixed. Step one, download Java 17. Step two, run the jar fix and everything is nice and fixed. By the way, this is a complete guide to the jar fix here. We just went over everything you need to know. It is that simple. But this does have frequently asked questions, some different issues you could have, and all that stuff is outlined here. As well as we have that in-depth guide to getting Java. Should you have any issues getting Java for whatever reason, this is covered in everything you need to know, including how to fix some of those issues, troubleshooting issues, frequently asked questions, all of that stuff. But nonetheless, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. That's how you can fix your jar files with the jar fix. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.